Cheech here with Fly Fish Food, and we have a really cool sow bug for you. You know about the grease top sow by now. We add a little bead to it. The bubble gum pink bead that turns it into a weapon of mass destruction. Anyway, check this one out. It's must-see TV. Dude, that's a big brown This fly is just the brother of another variation we've done called the Grease Top Sow. Um, this one has a bead on it. A lot of people up in Montana love to fish this bubblegum pink bead. So this one's for you guys because there is a killer new dubbing out from Fully Mill we gotta show you. So, we'll just get started. Um, I'm going to use wine colored thread on this because at the end of the day, I'm gonna make a real thin loop and we're gonna build up a case with resin and the wine colored thread shows through just a little bit. So. We'll just wrap all the way back, make a short dubbing loop. What you don't know is I just broke the dubbing loop on that last one. So I'm going to do it again, close it off, take my thread forward, and now we're ready to proceed with the fly. We're using this dubbing I was talking about before I broke my thread. I just dropped my dubbing twister too. Maybe I should have got the dubbing ready first. All right, now we're, we're off the struggle bus. We're, we're in. Okay. That's what I was trying to get. I was trying to get it out of the corner of the bag so that I could show you this. Watch. Boom. There's a lot of UV property material in here, but it doesn't look very bright until you do that. Now, I don't know if fish can see it. People ask me that all the time. But I've caught a lot of fish on stuff that has UV property like that. So maybe it's just mental in my brain that I'm fishing harder with flies with UV property. But, you know, at the end of the day, it works. Fish eat it. All right, so what I did while I was blabbing is just build a little dubbing loop like that. It's nice and sparse. Uh, we have a skill builder about why I cut the corner off the bag so you can build loops like that. So twist it up. And we'll let that get fairly twisty, but not, not crazy. You can see it's all gnarled up like that. So I'm going to take some Velcro. We're just going to pick it out a little bit. What that does is it makes the core of this dubbing loop thinner so that I can get, you know, tighter wraps on this hook. So we'll start out wrapping, you know, a little bit on the angle of this hook. And then I like to just use the rotary feature. If you don't have a rotary vise, um, you can still tie this fly. It's just going to take you, you know, 38 seconds longer. I'm going to trim off that loop now. And we'll whip finish at this point. And we don't need any head cement on this one because we're going to, the, the resin is actually going to touch where the thread is. Okay. So now you could, you got to pick out the fibers. You could use, you know, Velcro. That works fine. But I like the precision I can get with this. What is this one called again? The, it's the no, spork. The multi-brush. Multi-brush. It's the spork. Anyway, we're going to, we're going to brush this out, kicking fibers off each side and coming underneath it as well, doing the same. There's something to be said about being able to hold this thing like a pen. For those of us who learned how to write by the time we were in fourth grade, not going to mention anyone in the room, this is going to be very comfortable. All right, so I am going to pull these really tight to each side now, okay? So this is what we're looking like. I'm even going to pop this out of the vise and look, if this thing was a bird, he'd be flying away. All right, so sorry. Sorry for the demo. Sometimes my brain works weird ways. All right, so. Oh. And we're going to poke, we're going to take that out the side and we're just going to trim it. This is a sow bug. Um, you know, sow bugs will curl up once you, you know, catch them or, or whatever. But when they're in the water, they're nice and straight. So we're just using a slightly curved shank on this, on this hook. Anyway, that looks pretty good on the sides. It looks kind of gnarly right now. It looks like, you know, just a bad haircut. But we're going to fix that. So... What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pull all those fibers down, pinch them down. They don't have to stay perfectly. We're just going to prep the back of this fly for some resin. 
So we're going to come in here and get any flyer. So if you can see, I've got I've got my my thumb on my my vice, but my hand is on my vice, and I'm just bringing my fingers up to rest my scissors on. We're going to do a skill builder about that, but it it helps you with these precision cuts on small flies, and you can just really use your other your your other hand to brace your your scissor hand. All right. Anyway, so we got that. Still looks pretty gnarly. We're going to take Solares Thin, and we're going to just draw a little line. Um, I don't even put a marker line on this one because the claret thread shows through and it darkens things up. And all this resin is going to do is soak in a little bit and create a layer so that we can put one more thin layer on top and make it all smooth. So you can see the, the resin's in there, but it's not the smoothest. Um, I'm going to do one more pass with my scissors just to find any haters that didn't get kicked out last time. A couple of them, nothing serious. All right, um, and now, there's one more in the back, always. Now I'm gonna switch to the medium resin, um, and I'm going to just build a little bit of glob on top of that base, and you'll see how it just creates Brigham, did you clog this on purpose? You have your UV resins exposed to the sun when you're the shades up. When your UV resin clogs, like Brigham clogged mine in the middle of a video, you take this and you chuck it. You yeet that over your shoulder because these are a dollar a piece. So here we go. Look at that. Resin coming out right where it should. And I'm going to tease that on top of that other glob and bring it all the way on top of the bead. And I'm going to turn it upside down and hit it with the light and now we're starting to look like a sow bug finally so see that it's got a nice shell back and you can even come in here now and pick it out a little more and trim it a little more if you want otherwise just go fish it anyway grease top sow bug with a hot bead go fish it <laughs>